Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Psalm for the day coming to you from the redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Parish Abuja. Let us pray. Father, we bless you for this time, for this moment. Thank you for the ministry of your word. As we share your word in this short time, please let it be efficacious in the lives of your people and your viewers and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. The psalm for the day, for today is Psalm 138, verse 6, which says, Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth are far off. One striking character of our God is humility. I mean a kind of humility that is beyond what our minds can grasp. And I will explain to you from the Bible. Imagine the president of your nation come to your house knowing fully well that you are at home. He didn't just come alone. He came with the retinue of his ministers, government officials, the governors, everybody that is uh, worth calling along in his cabinet. And he personally came to your door and began to knock. And he kept on knocking, knowing that you are ignoring him. And he will not leave until he ensures that you hear, you heed his call. How can you compare yourself to the president of a nation? But he came and he kept on knocking. And he knew that you are ignoring him. Do you know that's what God does for us? In Revelation 3 verse 20. Say, I stand at the door and I knock. Jesus Christ, the God of the entire universe. Big God. Biggest of all. He will come to your house. He knocks. Knowing that you hear him and you are ignoring him, yet he will stay until you open for him. That's humility. Nobody will take that from you, talk less of the president of a nation. Now the God Almighty does that. That's just to look um, at God's humility in one perspective. Now the Bible says, though the, the Lord be high. So how high is God? How can we measure the height of God? How do we measure the greatness of our God? Do you want to use the number of years to measure how high he is? That will blow your mind because the Bible says he's the ancient of days. According to Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 to 11. Before time was, he is. Before anything was there, he has been God. He has no father, he has no mother. You can't carbon date his age. God is higher than any time. So how high is God again? Do you want to use the wisdom of God? The Bible records in Proverbs 3, 19 that the Lord created the earth by wisdom and by knowledge he established the heavens. Just take a look at the universe. You will see the power of God's knowledge and wisdom. Is it the tapestry of light of the galaxy 
or the innumerable number of 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 of, of, of stars that are more than um, the the grain of sand on the seashore. Yet everyone has his own purpose of what he does in the universe. Everyone having their ordinances, having their ordinations, having their timings, and they are working perfectly. It takes wisdom and knowledge to do that. They look at the human race. God made us in different shapes and sizes and colors and nations, and we have different languages. Yet, the Bible says he made every man from one blood. Acts 17, 26. It takes wisdom and knowledge to do that. Every time we discover something new in science, we say they made a, a breakthrough. No. You only knew a little of God of what God has just done. So you want to measure God with wisdom? Then you will know that he's so humble to come to you if you want to look at the kind of wisdom that God has. Do you want to measure God with wealth? Now that, that one we just we, we tell man that man is nothing compared to God. He owns everything. The minerals of the earth belong to him. All the animals, the, the seas or the in the, in the forest, in the field, in games, all the vegetation, all the wealth under the mountain, everywhere belong to God. Every soul belongs to God. The Bible says in Psalm 24, verse 1, the earth is the Lord and the fullness there of the world and they that dwell in it. Now imagine somebody as wealthy and that waiting on you until you answer him. Now, you want to measure God with power and authority. Psalm 33 verse 9 says, power, absolute power belongs to our God. Bible says, who speaks and it comes to pass when God has not commanded it. That's real authority. And I pray for you today as you are listening to me. Because all power belongs to God. Everything that has been said against you by the power in the name of Jesus, the Almighty God, I cancel them. Because God that speaks and it comes to pass. Every intention of man against you for evil, they are canceled now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Finally, the Bible now concludes that verse 6. He said, But the proud in knoweth are far off. You will agree with me that God is very humble. Look at the few things I just spoke about him. Look at this, the gap between man, man and God. Yet God comes to you every day, pleads with you every day, knock at your heart, doff your heart every day, wakes you up every day as if he's your servant. You see how, how, how humble God is? Now, God will never walk with someone that is proud. Because as proverb says, a proverb says, birds of the same feather flock together. You can see that God is very humble. For him to relate with you at all is humility. So if you are proud, and what is pride? Pride is active consciousness of being better than others, and you display it so that they feel inferior. Active consciousness that you are better than others. You don't stop there, there you display it until the other person feels inferior to you. God hates it. He knows such people from afar. He doesn't want to do anything with you. If I resist you, James 4, 6, God resists the proud. It, it frustrates their actions. Now, why should you be proud? There's nothing, why would you be proud, rather? There's nothing you have that you don't receive. So why are you proud? So have the nature of God today. Because the Bible says you give more grace to the humble. Not only grace, but more grace to the humble. So my brothers and my sisters, God is high. He considers the lowly. But he knows the proud from afar. Make up your mind from today and forth. Not only to know God, but to be humble. And you will see God giving you more grace on daily basis. So shall it be in Jesus' name. So, Father, thank you for your word. I pray for the impartation of your word. 
on the lives of your children. I bless you because this word will change us for the better. And your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. Amen.